By now, you've seen the title of this video, and you know that this episode is about ramen burgers. So now, I'm gonna say more words about them with my mouth, and you're gonna hear them with your ears. Unless you don't have ears, in which case, this video is gonna suck. I mean, it might suck anyway, but, well, here we go. Hey guys, I am Noah Gluten, and this is a ramen burger. Now, some of you might be worried that I'm gonna start saying ramen burglar a lot, but don't worry, I'm not. In case it's not clear to you from the picture, the ramen burger is basically a burger with ramen around it. More specifically, it is a beef patty, and then the bun is made out of pan-fried ramen noodles. Top it with a secret sauce, which is supposedly both sweet and savory, throw some scallions in there, and then put the thing in your mouth. Because that is how you eat food, is you put it in your mouth. I'm pretty sure they're not using the college diet staple of top ramen, which is basically just a deep fried rectangle of noodles with some bouillon powder, as opposed to real ramen, which is like handmade alkaline noodles and deep complex broth. It's really awesome stuff, real ramen. See, I like some things. Anyway, the ramen burger was already sort of an internet sensation, even though it started just earlier this summer when it debuted at the Brooklyn market called Smorgasburg. Keizo Shimamoto, the inventor of the ramen burger and a self-proclaimed ramen addict, debuted this creation on one fateful early August morning. Before anyone had even had a ramen burger, it sort of taken on a life of its own thanks to social media, like to Twitter, Twitter, Facebake, I think that's what they're called. But it was so big that Keizo and his team wound up talking about it on Good Morning America. They originally planned on only making a hundred ramen burgers, but after the buzz started getting out of control on the internet, they stayed up all night to make an additional 50. Still, the 150 ramen burgers sold out almost immediately, with more people in line than there were burgers to give out. So a lot of hipsters that day wound up weeping into their ironic mustaches. The next week, Keizo and his team came prepared with 300 ramen burgers and even borrowed Sun Noodles booth to make sure they had enough space at Smorgasburg. Basically, it sounds like the ramen burger business is booming and it's probably just a matter of time before he opens up a ramen burger shop. So I'm intrigued by this ramen burger, but probably not intrigued enough to wait in line for it. But I am curious to know how they make the ramen noodle bun. You have to find a way to pan fry it, but also keep it kind of soft so you will soak in the juices, but not dry out and not fall apart. If they can pull that bun off, I'm, I'm really impressed and I have, I have no real idea how to do it. If any food feeders out in the tri-state area want to schlep down to Williamsburg to try this ramen burger and let us know how it is, you should do so in the comments section. That's actually where all the comments go. It's pretty fascinating. Or if you're willing to brave the lines to try it when it comes around next, tweet us a photo and we might try to convince an intern to favorite your tweet. I'm Noah Galoot. Subscribe to Taste It and find out what happens when I put my meat between some golden brown noodles. That's a really weird name for a vagina.